Hey guys, it's Steve Lee. I am back here again with another Divi CSS quick tip. I got a request in uh, this past week from somebody wondering how to have links on a site uh, be different colors in different modules. So um, typically your um, your body links are controlled by, let me click into my page here. Typically your body links are controlled um, in theme customizer and in your general settings and then typography. So I'll back out here so you can see it. General settings, typography, and there's this uh, area here for body link color. And if you, um, you know, you can select the color there and it'll change all the links on your website to that color. Um, super simple. The problem comes in when you want to do something like this and you've got, um, you know, your, your name, address, phone number uh, in, in a footer or on a contact page, you generally want to make those clickable so that when you click it, it'll open that location, um, you know, to get directions, especially useful, um, for folks browsing your site on mobile. You want them to be able to click your address and it go to your website, or you want them to be able to click your phone number and, and it start calling you, um, you know, rather than, rather than your your visitors needing to copy and paste and switching be between screens and stuff like that so this is what we're going for here we want that to be um clickable uh, i've went back to the uh, test page here where this is this is not a link it's not clickable and we're gonna open uh, visual builder and i'm gonna actually paste in the code that um that google gives us to make that happen so let's uh let's pop this in here and you can see that it changes it to a um, to a blue color because that's the color that I have set up in theme customizer, general settings, typography, and body link color. So this is the uh, this is the heart of the request. Um, this person wanted to know how to change this color from default. Everything that she was trying, um, it just wasn't working. So here's the solution that I use. It's just a really little uh, snippet of CSS that is perfect for this kind of thing. So you open the text module of, um, you know, whatever you want to change and go over to the advanced tab, CSS ID and classes. And I'm going to add a class in here called contact color. And remember, we are um, we're just in the in the module here. We're not in the style sheet, so you don't need to include the period um, that's you know that typically um, is before a CSS class. You don't include the period there. So I've got contact color in here as the class, and then I'm going to get this page saved and get back out to the um, theme customizer. I'm pretty sure I pressed save. Thanks, Divi. Let's save that again. And pop back out here to the theme customizer. And while that's loading up, I'm going to copy and paste from the clipboard the little snippet of code here that we're using to target that. So I'm going to go down a new line and paste my code. And you can see the whole code here. Uh, I got it marked up as change link color in a module. And it's got our class as contact color, which is what we typed into that, uh, that module down here. And then the letter A is for a link. If you don't include the letter A there, it's not going to um, you know, use it for the link. And then uh, simple, we've got color and I made mine white. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this and you can see that it's already uh, it's already popped in over here. If you want to change this color to, uh, to something else, you can just change the color code. Um, super, super simple. We'll get out of theme customizer and head back to our site and give it a quick test and see how it works. Exit visual builder. And here we go. Our text is now clickable and it takes us right to the uh, the map where we want it. And all you've got to do if you want it to have, um, you know, a link on another page, be the same, uh, you know, be, be another color. Just copy that code again, give it a different class and um, pop that class into the module. Uh, we're going to back out here and get to our our live site, make sure everything's looking good. Uh, I've also done the same thing. We've got a, you know, a dual call to action up here. 
Um, same thing works for email addresses, telephone numbers, the, uh, the contact pages. You want all that stuff to be clickable so that your visitors can uh, get a hold of you when they want to. And you'll need to have this little bit of code to do it because otherwise all of these links here, they would be, they would be blue in color. And I don't want that. So that's all I've got for today. Uh, I won't drag on much longer. It's already been a five minute video. Thank you very much for the request. And uh, if you guys want to see or, uh, or hear anything else with Divi and CSS, um, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to check out our Facebook page, Divi CSS Share, where we post um, you know, the videos of these tips. And then we've also got a Trello repository um, that all these code snippets will be, uh, will be stored in and you can use them as much as you'd like. That's all I've got, guys. Have a great day and uh, thanks again. Bye-bye.